Welcome to the 5D Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm Zarathustra, your host, and broadcasting live from Los Angeles on this auspicious day, the day before Thanksgiving in the United States. And the topic of uh, today is going to be about gratefulness, um, being appreciative of life and grateful for everything that we have. We are culturally in a situation that we're constantly bombarded by fear, worry, anxiety. Well, we turn on the TV, you watch the news, it's focused on a lot of negative stuff. It's always focusing on neg negativity. And they're just bring worry and anxiety in us. But if you disconnect from that for a moment and just kind of pay attention to this moment right now. And you don't have to be philosophical. You don't have to be on a spiritual path. There's nothing to fear about this. You don't have to give up your faith or your religious practice or your family or your spiritual group. You don't have to give these things up in order to just simply take a moment for yourself and just look at whatever you have. Pay attention to what you have in this moment. Put your focus on everything that you have and disregard the things you don't have. And you can just go through different sections of your life and you will be amazed how much you have. You will be really amazed from anything. Go in your closet and open the closet and see how many jackets you have, how many, how many dresses, how many shirts, sweaters, stuff that you have. Look at how many pair of shoes you have, how many yoga pants you have. And look around like at your apartment, your house. If you own a house, Far out, you own a house. And if you have an apartment, look at whatever you have in there. If you have a car, if you have a job, if you make money. Your family, your friends. Your pets. Just pay attention to what you have and take a moment for something you have right now and use your imagination that in this moment, if you don't have this, okay, like let's say I have two hands, two eyes, my body, two legs, I wake up in the morning Everything's functioning. Yeah, there could be pains and aches for whatever reason. Poor health, poor diet, poor not exercising or sleeping bad or old age or sickness or whatever. They happen to everybody. You're not the only one who gets sick. You're not the only one who gets old. It's not like existing single point pointed you and picked you up and making you oil old when everybody else is not aging or you're the only one who gets wrinkles on your face or you're the only one who gets arthritis or whatever. It happens to a lot of people. But what about the stuff you have? 
What about everything you have? What about when your body functions? So let's say, imagine that you lost one of your arms in comparison to right now that you have both arms. Can you imagine that? Can you, what, what is like life going to be like if that happens to you? Or you lose your eyesight, or you can't hear anymore, or you lose your, you can't taste things because you had an accident and you got a bit of a brain damage and now you're not tasting something. You know, the simple things, everyday stuff that we don't pay attention until we lose it. We lose something, a part of our body doesn't function anymore, or all of a sudden something has happened to your back and you're having a lot of back aches or neck pain or shoulder pain and now it's constant and it's every day and not, no one can help you. So and then you, you notice that, oh my God, it was so amazing. I'm so grateful for the time that my body was good working. So why not be grateful right now to it when everything is fine or semi-okay or to whatever degree it is, being grateful for what you have. And then, you know, look around you with your, if you have whatever, family, friends, even if you have one friend on the planet, it's still much better than no friend. It's better than just being completely lonely and not have anyone. Being grateful for our friends. Being grateful for family, if you're connected to your family. And even though if your mom is bugging you, your dad is bugging you, your kids are bugging you, whatever it is, but you have them. And you, you can communicate with them and you can love them and they love you. So you can give and receive love. And then a lot of us, most of us live, or at least most of my participants that I'm in contact with, uh, they live in Western world or they're living in countries that there is freedom, there is democracy. Uh, we're not at war, we don't have any bombs falling, rockets falling on our head. Um, a lot of things that we, you know, we go to the supermarket and there is everything. You can buy anything you want, you don't have to be, wait in long lines. Especially living here in Los Angeles, I mean everything is there in abundance, abundance of everything. And then we have a tendency to focus on things that maybe we don't have or something should be different than how it is and then complain about it and really get focused on it and, not a, and missing out on the moment of this moment of life which is juicy, it's, it's amazing. It's, and when I say the moments of life are juicy and amazing, I'm not just referring that a superficial situation like, wow, oh, I love it and I'm so happy. No, I mean, there are moments of life that something happens and it upsets you or you're, you're unhappy or something doesn't go your way and there's tension or there's struggle. Why not appreciate that too? Being grateful for a moment or a period that you're struggling. Being even grateful for that because it gives you an opportunity to get stronger and transcend 